All right, if you have been working with DaVinci Resolve for any length of time, this has probably happened to you. You open up a project <laughs> only to be presented with this dreadful message of media offline. What does it mean? What happened? Where's my media? Well, when you get this message, what it uh, means is that DaVinci is no longer able to find the media that you used when you worked on your project last. And this can happen for a couple of different reasons. Um, the most common one is that the hard drive that you were using that had the media the last time you worked on the project is no longer connected to your computer. And so DaVinci just can't find it. It's no longer there. And so then it's just a matter of connecting your hard drive and your media will be back. Now, what do you do if, you know, you have a hundred hard drives on your shelf and you can't quite remember which hard drive that media was on that you were working on? Well, uh, DaVinci offers uh, some help here. Just simply go to any of the media that is offline and uh, right click on it. And from the menu that pops up there, click on Find in Media Pool. And right away, over in your media um, bins, you'll find the media and it's going to be highlighted there. So how does that help? Well, right click on it one more time and go all the way down and click Reveal in Finder. And there, from the dialog box that pops up, DaVinci uh, gives you a readout of the name of the hard drive. Uh, in this case, we're looking for ADRA 22-2. And then it goes on to tell you where on that hard drive it is. But um, as long as you can just find this hard drive and plug it into your system, uh, DaVinci should be able to find the media. And so that's very helpful. Now, um, I must say that I don't know that this also works on a PC system. I have never run DaVinci on a PC system. Uh, but I'm guessing that uh, instead of the message find in or reveal in Finder, it might say reveal in Explorer or something like that. And hopefully you'll have the same capability on a PC. All right, just before I did this tutorial, I <laughs> looked around for that hard drive and I can't find it. I think it might be uh, at the office. But if you're following good media practices, you have backed up your media so that it's on two separate hard drives. And uh, so let's take a look at the missing hard drive again. It is ADRA 22 2. Well, I know that all of uh, the media uh, that I have on this drive is backed up to another drive called ADRA22-1. And I do have that one. In fact, it's connected to the computer right now. And so what we can do is just go up to this little red chain link, click on that, and DaVinci will display all of the clips that are missing. Now this is actually showing a lot of clips that are offline and that's because I have about 20 different timelines uh, associated in this project and yeah, those that media is spread out over a number of hard drives. I use a lot of archive media from the last, you know, 15 years and so when I sit down to do a project, I access a lot of drives and I can't always keep them connected to my computer. But uh, I know from the dialog box that the missing media is in a folder called together. So let's click on that. Let's hit, click locate and point to the ADRA 22-1. And if we hit open now, it should be able to find that media. Yeah. Yes, it finds the media. Okay, so that helps. But looks like we still have more off. Looks like just three left. So let's do some more snooping. It's uh, right click, find in media pool, and then right click again, reveal in finder. And it now tells us that we're looking for a hard drive called FS 2022. And I'm realizing I don't have that hard drive with me either. So uh, are we totally stuck? 
Well, hmm, there's a good chance that I saved these uh, three clips to the main hard drive where most of this other media is located. And I can see that it's online, so hopefully we can find these. Let's right click on our missing media again from the bin uh, and choose this time the option Relink Selected Clips. And let's go to the hard drive and go to Adra is and let's check B roll. And sure enough, I think these are the three missing clips. Yes, that gives us the one anyway. Let's do the same process with the other two. Find in media pool, right click on that, relink selected clips. And I'm not sure which one that is, but we'll just hit OK. And yes, it finds it. And one more, find in media pool and relink selected clips again, hit open. And now we have our media back. All right, let's take a look at the rest of the project and see if there's anything else. Oh, I see something here. Let's take a look at that. Oh, and some more up there. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Let's right click on that. Go to find in media pool and we see it's a Shutterstock image. Looks like we've got a couple of them here. All right, so this can happen. Um, especially to me anyway. I, I think I remember I was madly trying to finish this project uh, to meet a deadline. I think I was working into the middle of the night and, and I needed some media to illustrate what I was saying. And so I went to Shutterstock, got the image. And uh, in another video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly bring in stock footage, either from Shutterstock or one of the stock video sites, DaVinci allows you to bring in media from the internet very quickly and, and just put it right into your project. But when you do that, uh, the media is ending up on your C drive, your downloads folder of your system drive. And uh, in the uh, fever of the moment, you might not always remember to transfer that media over to a permanent hard drive. And, uh, oh, it's been at least six months since I've opened this project. And so there's a good chance that somewhere along the way, I was cleaning up my downloads and uh, deleted a lot of this Shutterstock footage or images. And so now it's offline. Because it's no longer in downloads, uh, DaVinci just can't find it. However, when I'm cleaning my downloads, I usually try and transfer the uh, stock media over to a permanent hard drive. So maybe we can find these. Let's try. Well, I just plugged in another hard drive uh, that I often uh, transfer the stock media to. And as soon as I plugged in that hard drive, uh, DaVinci found the media. So we're good on those two. And it looks like uh, the other missing clips were on that hard drive as well. So I'm a little bit more organized than I might give myself credit for. So that's good. But just know that that can be one of your problems. You may have uh, downloaded some stock media. It went to your downloads folder. And then somewhere along the way, you deleted or, or trashed uh, that media. But if you've got an account with Shutterstock, in order to get the clips in the first place. And the great thing about that is you can always go back and get those again. Well, there you have it, uh, how to find your lost media, get it reconnected into your project. Uh, if you found the video helpful, go ahead and give it a like. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Love to hear from you. We'll see you next time here at uh, Learning Media Skills. So long for now.